So very good day to everybody present here. Once again, we are back with uh, artificial intelligence. We are discussing about the future of artificial intelligence and especially uh, the uh, implementation of AI as well as the digital labor. We are not talking about the traditional labor. We are talking about digital labor. So digital labor along with AI, definitely it is going to make a greater impact in the financial services. So that is what we are going to discuss in today's session. So this is especially for you, my dear students and young researchers, and you can reach me at dr.christoanand at the rate of gmail.com. So before beginning the session, let me thank God for giving me this golden opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national, international participants, students, and young researchers. In today's session, we will discuss about AI and digital labor and how you actually govern a machine because uh, there has been several hackers who are trying to you know steal some useful uh, digital information from your software or maybe any popular uh, financial section. So this is all about how you try to govern a machine. And then we discuss about how banks are using the BOS. Of course, um, we have seen chat BOS in uh, several platforms. Even in the case of uh, uh, if you try to order any particular product, of course, we have BOS even. Even in the banking sector also, we have some BOS even. And there are several challenges of using BOS. And how you try to succeed with BOS is all about today's session. And then we discuss about the future of BOS in the financial services. And of course, I'll be discussing some AI code for uh, even based backtesting and how you try to assess the risk. And then there is AI code for trailing loss and profit. So I have also got an individual task for you. So I, I would like to request you to please complete them at your best available time. And at regular interval, I'll also be giving you some short video to discuss the knowledge in a topic. So this is AI and definitely in implementation or uh, when you try to implement in the case of the digital labor, definitely we are uh, going to enjoy much more benefits with the case of uh, these technologies. And for this, we would be using RPA, robotic uh, process automation. And now uh, over the advancements, we would see IPA, intelligent process automation. So definitely even in the recent advancements, uh, definitely it's um, not all about uh, you know displaying something more attractive it is all about uh, uh, getting the actual benefit uh, from these technologies and definitely it should be much more easy for the customers even so uh, you not you do not be uh, you know uh, distracted by these bright shiny toys but still then uh, everywhere whenever we uh, come across uh, any new thing it's uh, much more attractive and definitely we people go uh, behind these technologies of course every technology has got its uh, dis uh, disadvantages and we have got some distractions even even the technology uh, we will have uh, several problems that are associated and our uh, technology will be able to solve this real business problems and definitely we will have some uh, control uh, problems even governance problems even that you have to uh, interact with this real world operating environment so maybe if you take in the case of intelligent process automation we, we will definitely bring about building this uh, ml machine learning model auto process discovery and of course nlp natural language processing into this digital label so whenever you are talking about ai whenever uh, we talk about these technologies of course we understand that these technologies uh, learn by itself they adapt to uh, the uh, existing technologies we uh, these technologies have actually learned from uh, you know previous experiences previous decisions and they tend to make the decision according to the patterns so uh, even when you try to explore this uh, intelligent process automation we can get the help of uh, ipa bows in the production so definitely it is measurable and we can enjoy much more benefits now the common question that lies is what is actually next in ai so generally, when you talk about AI, you can simplify simple tasks to handle complex thinking assignments. And now we are going to move into not automated intelligence, but about augmented intelligence. So something, it's a virtual world that you can think about it, you can predict it, and you can uh, you know come up with uh, several innovative uh, solutions, which makes uh, uh, you know much more support to the human beings to make decisions because 
uh, as i told you in the previous sessions human beings are bad decision makers so it can help the human beings to make decisions and of course we uh, make the technologies actually learn from the interactions so ai role is to customize uh, your product design and of course it can develop greater tasks with the predictive analytics and of course you can improve the outcomes such as uh, reduce accident rates that is uh, occurring in uh, around the world so you can also govern a machine even so because uh, uh, ai systems uh, you know uh, you know uh, make decisions or maybe uh, they act uh, in very short amount of time they act maybe in nanoseconds not even in seconds or microseconds or milliseconds okay so it acts in nanoseconds so what controls should we need to uh, to apply this ai systems or what control or authority management should uh, ai have and uh, whether it can have all the controls or we limit the controls that has to be a question that has to be asked and uh, how do we make sure the machines uphold uh, their uh, fiduciary duty or maybe what about the regulators that govern the principles and what if the things don't go as planned with a, will we have a quality check every time and um, even in the case of alexa or maybe google home or maybe siri they are having you know automated assistants which are helping the public so you have to integrate you have to manage you have to uh, you know do the administrative tasks for these channels and uh, you should decide when to use them and when not to use them so you should be as a moral support to these technologies only then uh, the quality check can be done in a full fledged manner so even the financial uh, you know executives are much more eased eager to use this digital labor and uh, of course whenever you are using digital labor even the human beings will think ah the uh, these technologies are going to replace us so again and again we are bringing up to the conclusion that this yeah i will never replace our human beings so only thing you should think about complex tasks that has to be uh, uh, you know allotted to these ai so maybe you should focus on the people issues so if it is complex issue then definitely we can allot it to ai if it is real tasks uh, which needs prior experience of course we can get the help of the human beings for that and uh, maybe they can understand uh, which jobs will change and how it will change okay so it is not that ai will completely uh, you know replace our jobs and uh, definitely you can offer training to help people to adapt and be transparent be open enough in these technologies so in order for the technologies to succeed maybe you should have a it audit and definitely you should have a testing lab so you should make uh, quality checks much more powerful so as to make the production more easier and for this maybe you should have a separate ai audit team it's not traditional audit team you can have a separate ai audit team and uh, maybe you can have uh, accountability features even maybe you can explain why your algorithm reached a particular decision so you can understand that every major process in the world maybe if you take in the case of financial services definitely we will have candidates for both from the front office middle office or maybe back office even to enterprise services maybe if you take in the case of finance or maybe compliance or maybe risk management we will have uh, you know investment banking even we will take in the case of retail industry or maybe commercial banking or maybe insurance we will have you know candidates for handling for both maybe front office back office middle office even so maybe both can be uh, used as a effective means for the trade settlement so maybe if you take according to the article of american banker the bank has already programmed a book with a set of rules maybe you can perform research on the orders maybe you can resolve the discrepancies that are allocated and maybe you can clear the trades even so that's what i'm telling you you can use the books for the trade settlement so it's a algo book an algorithm based book and definitely maybe if it uh, takes for the human beings if uh, it takes maybe 5 minutes or maybe 10 minutes uh, to maybe you know reconcile a failed trade maybe for the bow it will take maybe one quarter of a second to do the tasks as fast as possible so you can use the bows in the financing as well as uh, accounting sector even so whenever we have to do much of the manual work and maybe you have to deal with multiple data sources 
that can easily be automated with the help of a book and uh, even if you take in the case of risk management in the financial services you can uh, do much more tasks with regards to risk reporting and even with the control testing even and uh, that's been uh, been observed i mean program in several uh, higher order banks even even you can uh, uh, have a password for an app and definitely you can send an email or maybe text to a book maybe that uh, will give you uh, to build a custom connector for the use cases and definitely you can uh, give much more provisioning to the services as well so several opportunities are there but the thing is uh, uh, more uh, concern is all about prioritization so what would actually help our clients first of all so that is really a matter of concern and definitely with the case of finance and accounting both are much much useful but definitely there are some challenges much more challenges of using both so definitely it's a new workforce model so it's a new operating model you have to manage you have to operate the business and some major problem happens and definitely it's a big black mark for whatever we are serving with so maybe you will understand who will actually maintain the robotics estate uh, how will the, you will uh, get up this freed up capacity be utilized can you terminate or maybe renegotiate the outsourcing contract because the contract once gone is gone you have to handle it with care and what extra skills actually is needed for the workforce model so that's uh, it's it's a pretty tricky one and it's a new thing okay so this is a challenge once again a challenge of using bose and bose have gone wild no matter what at the end of the day maybe you cannot tell the investors or the auditors or maybe regulators that the board did something wrong and human beings did it correct so you cannot tell that way okay so this is what many investors many uh, managers are thinking about it so even the cios and the cisos uh, have to think about governance about security and about the risk management feature even and there are some actions even you should have uh, you know unique user ids for each boss and definitely the communication should be secure enough okay and uh, should you should create a backup for each and every process that you have to go with even with the case of boss that would require critical operations you should have some backup even so that is the reason you say boss have gone wild you know and uh, still on the positive side, uh, positive side even on the upfront even we have succeeded with the boss so even with the end to end processes so you should think about it before configuring the entire individual book and we will have a robo process automation book definitely with the case of detail analytics features insights even so definitely we should need ml machine learning as the right way to deal with those and uh, there should be a portfolio of the technological options we should have a end to end process even and definitely the workforces uh, tend to uh, focus on higher value issues even with the case of projects with the regards to cost cutting or maybe reducing the headcount we can come up with freeing up more capacities with the boss even and of course with the case of boss uh, definitely as i told you cios and cisos have come up with bringing robotics into organization and this is the right time that we should uh, transform to a digital future and uh, definitely you can go with the cost avoidance and business enablement also and definitely if the process is a good candidate for a boom definitely we can use the savings to self fund more boosts and definitely you can come up with more uh, transformational programs even for the future and in the financial services it is uh, vital to build up this financial services model and uh, that would definitely be a uh, widespread adoption whenever you are going to come up with ai even the government is, is even is uh, willing to uh and you know, spend much uh, money even for the investment uh, for better services and definitely uh, the regulators will have to determine how comfortable they are you know letting the core processes and of course the critical business operations to run on the bo farms and uh, it's it's it is all automated so that's the way that uh, uh, the banking and the financial services sector are too much into ai now but uh, there is also one question if we spend you know increase regulatory in pushing the banks towards uh, ai but uh, how much uh, will it go what impact will it actually create will it create a positive impact or maybe a negative impact that has to be a matter of concern 
so as i'm uh, telling you the robots are self learning so you only thing you have to feed in with the prior as well as previous experiences and even in the silicon age of self learning robo they are coming up more smarter even so definitely in the business processes and definitely in the technological change definitely it will learn by itself and this technology continues to go better and better definitely the products will go much more higher and definitely we would be marching towards the age of cognitive automation so that is the work of the self learning robo so i've got a ai code for this even based back testing so we would import the models with regards to the data price and definitely we would get the wealth and the, and the buying order and the selling order even and we will have a back tester feature even to uh, reshape the state objects for the case of self uh, trades we would start this back test and definitely with the buying order you know sell order we would have uh, you know this uh, uh, statistics with res respect to the rows and the columns and we go with the back tester to uh, test the strategy and we will have a model for uh, uh, analyzing whether uh, it is going as per the analytics whether it is true or false and uh, uh, even with the case of wells we plot the fixed size even with the uh, cumulative sum and we tend to apply the models and we get the data that is associated with the absolute value we tend to find the maximum value and we try to assess the risk with respect to the leverage and uh, we tend to uh, uh, find out the median and the mode even so we also tend to back test the risk measures that are associated we tend to go with the stop loss where we tend to have the strategy with the case of none and uh, we also calculate the trailing loss as well as the profit with respect to the uh, you know the combinational model with respect to you know slt sltp and then wait even so i've got an individual task also so imagine if you are the ceo of a financial organization so maybe about digital labor what measures you will come about so how uh, you should not you should also uh, not affect the traditional labor uh, who have been working for 5 years or 10 years also so what digital labor that you you can come up with so you can think about the repetitive task that you can allot it to the digital labor and how you could uh, incorporate in your financial organization not just any other organization but financial organization how you would bring these practices so you can think about it so uh, this is it for this today's session